In this video, I'll be sharing with you 10 tips that can save you a fortune in the long run. These are tips that most people don't know about, but can have a huge impact on your finances. So, let's get started, and I promise you, by the end of this video, you'll have a whole new perspective on frugal living. Frugal Choice 1. Invest in a programmable thermostat. Now, I know this might not sound like the most exciting thing in the world, but hear me out. A programmable thermostat allows you to set specific temperatures for different times of day, so you're not wasting energy heating or cooling your home when no one is there. For example, you can set the temperature to drop a few degrees while you're at work and then have it warm up again before you get home. This can save you a significant amount of money on your heating and cooling costs. In fact, according to the U.S. Department of Energy, you can save up to 10 a year on heating and cooling costs by simply adjusting your thermostat 7 10 degrees Fahrenheit for 8 hours a day. Now, I know some of you might be thinking, but wait, I already have a thermostat. Why do I need a programmable one? And the answer is simple. A programmable thermostat gives you more control over your energy usage and takes the guesswork out of adjusting the temperature. It also allows you to set temperature schedules based on your lifestyle, so you're not wasting energy or money when you don't need to. And the best part? Investing in a programmable thermostat is a one-time cost that can pay for itself in no time. It's a small investment that can have a big impact on your wallet in the long run. So, if you're looking for an easy and effective way to save money on your heating and cooling costs, a programmable thermostat is definitely worth considering. Frugal Choice 2 use a clothesline instead of a dryer. Using a clothesline to dry your clothes not only saves you money on your electricity bill, but it also helps preserve your clothes by not exposing them to the high heat of a dryer. Plus, there's nothing quite like the fresh smell of clothes dried outside in the sun. In fact, according to the Energy Information Administration, clothes dryers are the second highest energy, consuming household appliance, right after your refrigerator. By using a clothesline, you can save up to $100 a year on your electricity bill. That's a lot of money. But I know what some of you might be thinking, but wait, I live in an apartment or I don't have a backyard. How can I use a clothesline? The good news is you don't need a backyard to use a clothesline. There are many indoor clotheslines or drying racks that you can use to dry your clothes. You can also use a portable clothesline that you can set up in any room. Also. Using a clothesline not only saves you money, but it's also better for the environment. You're not using energy to power a machine, and you're not producing carbon emissions. So, next time you have a load of laundry to do, consider using a clothesline instead of a dryer. Not only will you save money, but you'll also be doing your part for the environment and preserving your clothes. Frugal Choice 3. Shop at thrift stores and consignment shops. Now, I know some of you might be thinking, but wait, I don't want to wear someone else's old clothes. But trust me, thrift stores and consignment shops have come a long way. You can find some amazing deals on clothes, shoes, and accessories that are in great condition. Not to mention, you can also find unique and one-of-a-kind uh, items that you won't find anywhere else. In fact, according to the National Association of Resale and Thrift Shops, the average consumer can save up to 90s off retail prices when shopping at thrift stores and consignment shops. That's a lot of money. But I know some of you might be thinking, but wait, how do I find the best deals at thrift stores and consignment shops? The key is to be patient and to go often. You can also follow the thrift store or consignment shop's social media accounts to be informed of their sales and special events. Also, try to be open-minded and don't be afraid to try on different sizes and styles. You never know what you'll find. Shopping at thrift stores and consignment shops not only saves you money, but it also supports local charities and small businesses. Plus, you're also reducing the amount of clothes that end up in landfills. It's a win-win situation. Frugal Choice 4. Make Your Own Cleaning Products Making your own cleaning products not only saves you money, but it also helps you avoid all the harsh chemicals found in most store. Bought cleaning products. Plus, you can customize the scent and strength of the cleaning solution to your preference, and it can be a fun dye project. In fact, according to a report by the National Center for Biotechnology Information, the average household spends around $500 a year on cleaning products. By making your own cleaning products, by making your own cleaning products, you can save a significant amount of money on cleaning supplies. But I know what some of you might be thinking, but wait, 
how do I make my own cleaning products? The good news is, it's easier than you think. You can make your own cleaning products with simple and natural ingredients such as baking soda, white vinegar, lemon juice, and essential oil. You can find many recipes online, and you can also experiment with different ingredients to find the perfect cleaning solution for your needs. Making your own cleaning products not only saves you money, but it also reduces your environmental impact. You're not using harsh chemicals and you're not producing plastic waste. Frugal Choice 5. Cook at home instead of eating out. We'll get to that in a second. I have a favor to ask of you. If you like this video so far, please subscribe to the channel. Cooking at home not only saves you money, but it also allows you to have more control over what you're eating. You can choose healthier ingredients, and you can also experiment with new recipes. Plus, there's nothing quite like the smell of a home-cooked meal. In fact, according to a report by the Bureau of Labor Statistics, the average household spends around $3,000 a year on eating out. By cooking at home, you can save a significant amount of money on food. But I know what some of you might be thinking, but wait, cooking at home takes a lot of time and effort. And I agree, it can be time consuming, but it doesn't have to be. You can make meal planning, grocery shopping, and cooking in bulk to save time and money. You can also try out some easy and quick recipes, or use a meal delivery service that provides you with pre-measured ingredients and easy-to-follow recipes. Cooking at home not only saves you money, but it also allows you to have more control over what you're eating. You're not eating out, and you're not spending money on takeout. Frugal Choice 6 use a reusable water bottle instead of buying disposable ones. A reusable water bottle not only saves you money, but it also helps reduce the amount of plastic waste that ends up in our oceans and landfills. Plus, it's a small and easy change you can make in your everyday life to make a big impact on the environment. In fact, according to the Earth Policy Institute, Americans throw away about 50 billion water bottles per year, and only about 23 of them are recycled. By using a reusable water bottle, you can save money and reduce the amount of plastic waste. But I know what some of you might be thinking, but wait, I need to buy a reusable water bottle. That's an extra expense, and I understand. But the good news is, you can find a wide variety of reusable water bottles at different price points at different price points. You can also look for discounts or even get a free reusable water bottle from your workplace, school, or other organizations. Using a reusable water bottle not only saves you money, but it also helps reduce the amount of plastic waste that ends up in our oceans and landfills. It's a small and easy change you can make in your everyday life to make a big impact on the environment. Frugal Choice or 7. Use a bike or public transportation instead of driving. Using a bike or public transportation not only saves you money on gas and car maintenance, but it also helps reduce the amount of carbon emissions and traffic congestion. Plus, it's a great way to get some exercise and fresh air. In fact, according to the American Public Transportation Association, the average household can save up to $9,000 a year by using public transportation. By using a bike, you can save even more. But I know what some of you might be thinking, but wait, biking or taking public transportation might not be convenient for me. And I understand, but the good news is, there are ways to make biking or taking public transportation more convenient. You can look for bike sharing programs or bike racks near your workplace or school. You can also check for public transportation routes and even plan your trip ahead. Using a bike or public transportation not only saves you money, but it also helps reduce the amount of carbon emissions and traffic congestion. It's a great way to get some exercise, fresh air, and save money. Frugal Choice 8 shop at a farmer's market. Shopping at a farmer's market not only saves you money on fresh produce, but it also allows you to buy locally grown, fresh, and often organic produce. Plus, it's a great way to support local farmers. And also, you can try out new and unique fruits and vegetables that you can't find at your regular grocery store. In fact, according to the US Day, the average household can save up to 2050 of the cost of produce by buying directly from the farmer at a farmer's market. But I know what some of you might be thinking, but wait, farmer's markets might not be available in my area. And I understand, but the good news is there are more and more farmer's markets popping up all over the country, even in urban areas. You can also look for farm stands or SSC, Community Supported Agriculture, programs where you can buy a share of a farm's produce and receive a regular delivery. 
Shopping at a farmer's market not only saves you money, but it also allows you to buy locally grown, fresh, and often organic produce. Plus, it's a great way to support local farmers. And also, you can try out new and unique fruits and vegetables that you can try out new and unique fruits and vegetables that you can't find at your regular grocery store. Frugal Choice 9. Avoid Impulse Buying Avoiding impulse buying not only saves you money, but it also allows you to make more thoughtful and strategic purchases. Plus, it helps you avoid buyer's remorse and clutter in your home. In fact, according to a study by the University of California, Berkeley, the average household can save up to 20, 30s of their budget by avoiding impulse buying. But I know what some of you might be thinking, but wait, how do I avoid impulse buying? And I understand it can be difficult, but there are ways to make it easier. You can try to make a list of things you need before you go shopping. You can also set a budget for yourself and stick to it. Or you can wait a day or two before making a purchase to make sure it's something you truly want or need. Avoiding impulse buying not only saves you money, but it also allows you to make more thoughtful and strategic purchases. Plus, it helps you avoid buyer's remorse and clutter in your home. Frugal Choice Using a budgeting app not only helps you keep track of your spending, but it also allows you to set financial goals and helps you create a budget and stick to it. Plus, it's a great way to stay motivated and on track with your finances. In fact, according to a study by Bankrate, the average household can save up to 15 of their budget by using a budgeting app. But I know what some of you might be thinking, but wait, there are so many budgeting apps out there. How do I choose one? And I understand it can be overwhelming, but the good news is there are many great budgeting apps available and you can find one that suits your needs and lifestyle. You can try out different apps and see which one works best for you. Using a budgeting app not only helps you keep track of your spending, but it also allows you to set financial goals and helps you create a budget and stick to it. Plus, it's a great way to stay motivated and on track with your finances. I hope you found these tips helpful and inspiring and that you're excited to start implementing them in your own life. But the journey doesn't end here. If you're ready to start improving your financial well-being, take action now. Check the first link in the description for our Frugal Living eBook. Our comprehensive guide covers everything you need to know about living a frugal and rewarding life, including creating a budget, identifying areas for cost, cutting, and finding affordable alternatives to everyday expenses. It's never too late to start making smart financial decisions.